Welcome to game two of the series. This is a, again going to be Sir Lamy defending his throne against Red Wings. Red Wings took game one with 299, two, yeah, 299 VP victory. So apparently he's going to be trying a similar strategy this game. Luftwaffe supply Pio spam, which is very old school. Pio spam was only very briefly effective in Co2 history, and it was when Luftwaffe supply. Um, Medical supplies were usable in combat. I think that is the only. Well, that's not true. March deployment pyro spam was also pretty uh, ridiculous, but <clears throat> generally, currently, pyro spam does not work. So I will be very curious to see how Red Wings tries to pull this off. Maybe he's just going to go with three pyos into Panzer Grenadier's build. Maybe double scout car. We'll see what he tries to do. Three piles on the field already, in addition to an extremely early fuel cache on the cutoff. Try and protect that from very early harassment from Sir Lamy's infantry, who has chosen Soviets this game and is going to field a three conscript opening. So, both of them spreading out initially to take territory on their respective halves of the map. Sir Lamy going with not too aggressive of an opening, just sending a few squads to capture in the north while Red Wings does the same in the south. Conscripts are going to secure the building right here. Giving himself vision of the general area. He may also see the cutoff it is now under soon. Our here. That took or the uh, fuel cache, I, I should say. Pretty sure, he's, pretty sure he spotted that. And he doesn't have a solution to that right now. He might get himself a flamethrower, though. Combat engineers taking control of territory. Trading with Pyos, currently. Conscripts move up to start firing on that fuel cache, but they're not really going to be able to get rid of it, at least initially. Pyo is forced away by this squad of conscripts on the left side. And Battle Phase 1 is in progress for Red Wings since this squad of Pyos is already retreating. Assuming they get home alive, they should be able to build the tech structure and start getting scout cars and Panzer Grenadiers on the field. Maybe also a half track. And the cutoff will remain in Red Wings control, but Conscripts move to simply take control of the fuel point instead. This squad of Pyos is on its way. Maybe try and do something against something. If they catch that squad building the sandbags, I don't know. I have no idea how Red Wings can try and salvage his current situation. Oh, with an early flamethrower. Flamethrower completes for that squad of Pyos, and he will force Conscripts out of the fuel point. Start getting it back under his control. Green cover being built here in the middle. Here on the munitions. Early flamethrower on this squad is just going to try and get the fuel point recaptured. This squad grabbing the strategic point back and the tier 2 will complete. Red Wing is going to field a uh, scout car. And with scout car first. Probably Panzergrins next. Sir Lamy does not currently have access to AT guns, it's just gone with four cons and let his uh, manpower float from there. Up to 500 now while he waits to get to two CPs and start fielding some sort of doctrinal infantry, I assume. And it looks like the fuel cache will finally be destroyed just by massed conscripts here on the cutoff. Although he does have a flamethrower, he's retreating to tech, I believe. And Pyos are going to start working on territory in the north. Flamethrower finds some wounded conscripts here. Red Wings trying to get into close range for the MP40s. This current formation he's in is going to make him do not much damage. Red Wings simply going to retreat. More green cover being built by Sir Lamy on the cutoff and fuel. He will move into the retreat path of these Pyos and try and pick up an early wipe. The scout car making its way towards the south to maybe try and push those conscripts around and save that retreating squad of Pyos as they cross the road. But it looks like they were going to get away anyway. The scout car moves up and starts bleeding the conscripts. And Sir Lamy will react to that by maybe purchasing... Nope. No anti-grenade research yet. Here comes the second scout car. So Red Wings is indeed going with his double scout car build, which I've seen him do before, but not for a while, and not with Luftwaffe supply. This is, uh, this is slightly new. New for me, anyway. Auto cannon upgrade in production. Uh, 
Flamethrower working on the Pyos. And these Pyos working on the uh, strategic point there in the north. There's the auto cannon upgrade. We'll start working on conscripts in the middle, and they're going to retreat. And I've never seen Red Wings go with three scout cars before, so he's he's uh, he's investing very heavily into light vehicles, and this AT gun may cause problems for him later. Shock troops, on the other hand, may not be that effective against a purely light vehicle build. Shock troops um, struggle against scout car spam, I think. So I'm not sure if I think that's uh, a great decision against only three pyos. But eventually, Red Wings is probably going to field more infantry. You can't go through the entire game with just three spots of Pyos, I don't think. AT Gun misses both of its shots against those uh, scout cars, and they will try and pull outside of its arc of fire. If these scout cars can force the uh, supporting conscript squad to retreat, the AT Gun will no longer have vision. And there's the AT grenades for Sir Lummi, so Red Wings will have to micro extremely carefully. All right, scout cars will probably be destroyed. And there, finally, are the Panzer Grenadiers, which Red Wings, I assume, is purchasing as a reaction to the AT gun. Auto cannon scout car moves up to try and push those. Wow, look at that auto cannon damage. That just wrecked that shock troop squad. Engineer standing by. So there's the retreat. They were really clumped as they as the scout car pushed them, pushed them into a tight clump around that corner, and the auto cannon AOE brought the whole squad down to half health in one burst. Jalami has a pretty solid front line set up here in the middle. It's got a squad providing vision in the church. AT gun is going to move to try and get a line. Doesn't look like it going to be able to do so easily. Pyo's forced to retreat right there. Jalami has both munitions. Red Wings has the north fuel. Currently working on the south as well. So let me infantry are on their way to turn that situation around in the north. And Red Wings has fielded a fourth scout car. Just enough Panzer Grenadiers to put the necessary pressure on the AT gun, I assume. All the rest of his resources going into scout cars, and I don't think he's utilized any of his Luftwaffe supply features yet. I'm still quite curious to see what he's going to do with that. AT grenade connects with the 222 right there. That's got to pull back for repairs. AT gun not moving. Make uh, make a follow up or anything right there. Two squads harassing in the south should be able to get territory down there captured pretty quickly. Red Wings is taking control of the church with his flamethrower, but gets forced out by his opponent's flamethrower. Panzer Grenadiers trying to engage from a distance outside of flamethrower range. And the scout cars, which are still at full health, moving to try and support in this engagement. They will uh, spot the AT gun over there on the munitions, so they're rotating here towards the middle where they can apply damage a little bit more safely. AT gun is going to have to rotate mid, try and force them away, try and find an opportunity against them. The scout car, which ate that AT grenade earlier, is being repaired over here on the right side. Triple cap is about to get set up against Red Wings once again. Red Wings has not really had victory point control at any point this game now falling to about 100 VPs behind, slowly just getting territory under control with a squad of Pyos here, utilizing his Panzer Grenadiers to protect his scout cars in the middle. And I think Red Wings will find an opportunity to force a retreat from these shock troops. A T-gun shot connects with that scout car, forcing it back. And a T-gun is also going to pull back away from the threat of Panzer Grenadiers. Slightly, its pathing is actually a, a little bit blocked right here, and it's almost, almost completely unsupported. In fact, just one squad of conscripts and the flamethrower at half health. Red Wings were to make an aggressive push right now, they might be in danger of losing it. Sneaky aggressive mines going down here on the road while uh, Sirlami has a little bit of space. Red Wings doesn't quite have vision. Red Wings uh, just dropped 200 manpower on the fuel crates here. Try and bolster his economy. Not sure if he's planning on going tier 3 or tier 4. Guessing probably tier 3. I don't, I don't think he can realistically make it to tier 4 this game. Wow! Wow! 
Oh, Red Wings just got so lucky, just detonated two mines, but his auto cannon just wiped that flamethrower squad so quick. I don't even know what, how that happened. It just went down before I could even look at the engagement, and his scout car is going to get out of that, and so will his flamethrower. Both mines detonated, but Red Wings takes no serious losses, which is amazing. You know, Baby Nihilist, I've thought about changing my casting overlay. I thought about maybe putting my camera over on the left where these notifications are, and then just covering up the timer with, like, I don't know, something else. Because who cares about these stupid notifications anyway, right? <laughs> Scout cars move to fight here in the middle. Take an 18 grenade and the 18 gun set up perfectly for this engagement. And Panzer Grenadiers are forced to retreat with only one man remaining. And that will finally be one of Red Wing Scout cars destroyed. He has a hundred fuel stockpiled. Oh no, he just got engine destroyed by that second AT grenade. Which means that this scout car is also going to go down. Unless Red Wings mount some sort of miracle rescue. Which is not. AT, uh, AT gun snipes it. And two scout cars go down just like that. The blink of an eye, it looked like Red Wings was maybe kind of making this strategy work. Now it looks like it has horribly failed. Surlami has the entire map under his control. And unless Red Wings can pick up some sort of miracle wipe here or there. I don't know if he's gonna be able to recover this game. Auto Cannon's working on those conscripts for us to retreat. Pyos with a minesweeper over here on the right side are going to repair that scout car. More Pyos trying to get control of this territory. Red Wings has fielded an AT gun of his own, which may have been manpower he couldn't afford to spend. Zerlami has gone counterattack and is floating manpower for what I assume is a B4 and possibly KV1 once he makes it to 8 CPs, which is taking a while. Zerlami floating quite a bit of manpower as he waits. But he's under no real pressure to spend his current float. Has excellent map control. Flamethrower engaging against the squad in the middle. Slash south. Get away, the squad of Pyos also forced away by conscripts in the north. Pioneers moving to get control of that fuel. Panzer Grenadiers standing by. Shoots in here. Ready for action. And so far, Red Wings doesn't seem like he's making any progress anywhere. Battle phase two has completed. And the fact that Sirlami has not teched and fielded some sort of decisive unit like anything, T-34 or T-70 or something try and seal the game is giving Red Wings a little bit of extra time to maybe get a Panzer IV on the field maybe try and make something happen with that it's currently one AT gun defending in the north one defending here in the south against Red Wings scout cars so their mobility is really quite limited and it's on Panzer Grenadiers to try and win the infantry game and force those AT guns back Triple Cap is about to be restored and Red Wings continues to run out of time. He only has 234 victory points left. Objective secure. We are ready to go, comrades. To the death. We are losing supplies to the enemy. Ooh, unfortunate flame burst right there. Red Wings will be forced to retreat out of that engagement. Panzer Grenadiers working on the south fuel. We have 
200 points remaining. Shalami's still not up to six or eight CP, so he still can't uh, field any of his call-in units, and he continues to just float. It still looks like he has no intention of teching at all. There's uh, tier three for Red Wings. He will have a very brief window of opportunity to try and turn the games around somewhat once his Panzer IV hits the field. And the fuel crates he dropped for himself earlier are going to be the only reason I think that a tank is even about to hit the field. Scout cars take heavy damage from AT gun and anti-tank grenade fire and are going to have to do some very sneaky dancing to survive here. Meanwhile, Panzer Grenadiers have to retreat from an engagement left. And it looks like this scout car may go down. Pios are on their way to try and clear the gun. Scout car gets around to hedge just barely in time. <laughs> that attack ground manually shot through the hedge and hit the dirt. That scout car survives only by a tiny sliver. And Pios will successfully push that AT gun away, but Panzer Grenadiers unmonitored on the left side munitions point get wiped. Which is another loss that Red Wings probably can't afford. 350 manpower has been collected though. Panzer IV in production will be the last hope Red Wings has to recover control of this game. Meanwhile, Sirlami only one CP away from fielding at least two KV-1s if he wants. Probably also a B4. Pio's forced to retreat there in the north. Scout car forced to retreat as well. Red Wings still triple captain, has only 100 VPs remaining. He won game one with 299 VPs, so Sirlami definitely has faction selection unless Red Wings make some sort of amazing comeback with his Panzer IV, which is hitting the field now. Another scout car just went down here in the north to a T-gun fire. So Red Wings' original build of four scout cars has been reduced to only one remaining. This one engaging against shock troops right here, working on it to the maximum possible extent. Panzer IV looking for an opportunity here in the middle, chasing that squad of conscripts hard. Goes for a crush maneuver on that conscript squad, almost nails it. Shock troops being forced to retreat right there. The Panzer IV is in the retreat path. Here comes the KV-1, and Red Wings will have no choice but to either retreat or lose his tank right here. Another AT grenade bounces, but the third one penetrates, and that Panzer IV is definitely destroyed, which means, in addition to the loss of his scout car, that Red Wings has definitely lost this game. I don't think there's anything he can realistically do to recover it, and he will concede... 19 minute victory for Sirlami who will also secure himself faction selection going into game 3.